Hi, in this short video I want to show you how you can create shortcuts for NoPlan and do things like dictate a text and then add this text as a task to your today's note. So I have created the shortcut already and this is how it works. So you can close NoPlan by closing the window this way. And then I have added the shortcut here to the menu bar. So I just open the shortcuts icon and then click on dictate into NoPlan. Remember the milk. So I've added, it has edited, so let's open no plan and see if it worked. And you see here is the new task, remember the milk, at the top of my today's note. And I'm using shortcuts in combination with X callback URLs, and I show you what this is in a minute, uh, to create, uh, to add this task to my today's note. Let's open shortcuts. So here's the shortcuts app, and I've created this shortcut already. And let me edit it to show you how it works from the inside. So first I have added dictate text. You can just search for this here in the right sidebar and then drag it into the uh, into the window. Then uh, it's important to encode the dictated text or URL encode. You can just also type it in and uh, here it is the URL encode. This is important because we're using X callback URLs and they need to be encoded so because it breaks if there are special characters or spaces in between and URL encode will make it safe. So the X callback URL won't uh, break. And then I am setting the variable content uh, to URL encoded text. So basically uh, you just search for set variable and you drag it in, then it should automatically assign it this way. You may need to name content and uh, the variable to content. And the last step is to open the X callback URL. So you can just type in X callback and here it is. And then open this. But let me show you um, where I got this X callback URL from. So you see the uh, URL is structured like this, no plan, then X callback URL, and then the command at text in this case with a note date, which is today, and the text. And then a parameter, uh, a mode prepend because I want to have it at the beginning of the node. Okay, uh, what are X callback URLs? With X, these are like links which you can click on and then they do something with no plan. And you can simply search uh, we have a documentation for this in our help center or you search it on Google, just X callback URL no plan and then you'll find it or navigate to help.noplan.co and then search it in the search bar. And there are various things you can do, uh, but in this example uh, we're looking at add text and there are a couple of uh, variables you can use. Usually you can have a look at the examples, for example this one uh, it uses today's note and then the text and you see uh, it uses these encoded uh, text which is like percent to zero it means it's a space in this case and this is what I've used here asterisk percent to zero which stands for space because we want to have a task and not just text and then the content itself so you can uh, copy it from here, modify it as needed, for example, inside NoPlan or any other text editor, add new variables, remove variables, modify them, and then paste it here and uh, set and include the content variable inside the X callback URL. So let me show you again how I created this X callback URL inside the shortcuts app. These steps are relatively simple, but this one might be a little bit harder. So I drag it inside, then it, it sets the content uh, variable automatically, but we don't want that, so let's clear it. Let's head back to our documentation. I'll just copy this, copy, paste. So uh, we don't want hello world, we don't want the content variable here. So you see, I had to use spaces, so the text content variable, but actually we don't want the spaces here, but I just had to add them briefly. So 
we can insert the content variable. Oh, and disappeared. Okay, here we don't need a space. Mode, prepend. And do we want to open the node? Not really. Okay, so just let me check if there's a space. Seems there's still one. Okay, so make sure there are no spaces. Um, but you need to add a space initially. So the shortcuts app, the text that you want to insert the variable. Uh, you don't need these uh, settings here, so we can just leave it. And you can just test it by pressing the play button here. Buy new shoes. Okay, and it added it to the node successfully. Okay, this is how you can create a shortcut. And now how did I get it into the menu bar? You can click on this uh, info, info details button here and then say pin in menu bar. Make sure you don't have too many um, icons here already, then it, will, uh, then it won't show the shortcut, so you might have to remove some. And this is basically how it works. And there are much uh, many more options here you can do with the shortcuts. I would do, do with the X callback URLs and use them inside the shortcuts. Let me know what you are coming up with. I hope this was useful to you and see you next time.